So I talk an awful lot about what braining is and I wanted to give you some insight on what the actual braining process is, what my process is, what I look at when developing a brand or helping businesses enhance what they're already doing. First and foremost, we have to define everything that goes into the brand. Now this isn't the services you provide, the features of the product, et cetera, et cetera. This is the people behind the scenes. This is the processes that you offer. This is the experience, the culture, the aura of your business. What are the defining elements, the characteristics, the personality, all those things that define who you are as a brand. Second is really how do we position the brand? What do customers think of you? What's the perception? What's your reputation? What do you want it to be? What do they believe to be true about your business? And how do they differentiate you from the pack? Now, do you want to just be the carpet cleaning guy or do you want to have an experience tied to that that people are willing to pay for? What are the functional, emotional, self-expressive, economic, and environmental or societal benefits of your business? No brand is the same there. How are you expressing your brand? What forms of media do you use? Who's the main character or the spokesman? Why are they the main character or spokesman? Are you exciting? Maybe a little bland. Maybe you're really serious. Maybe you're a goofy, funny, humorous business. Maybe you like to entertain. Or maybe you like to be really direct and hold people accountable. Whatever it is, understanding that voice, that personality, that ability to communicate, that's how you resonate with a certain audience, specifically the audience that you target and value the most. How are you building awareness? Are you communicating internally or externally? Do you count on certain people to promote the business? Do you need to do advertising? How are you doing outreach in a financially competent manner? Does it make sense? Is that where your customers are? Does it align with your voice, your personality, all those things that we discussed before? When building awareness, you really need to understand who you can lean on, who you can count on, and where your opportunity is. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting money, right? Lastly, and obviously this is probably the most important, how are you measuring your brand? How are you measuring results? How are you looking into the avenues that you're reaching out into and understanding if that's a success or not? How are you giving feedback? How are you holding your people, your culture, your leaders accountable? How are you measuring partner performance? How are you getting feedback from your customers? How are you getting feedback from your partners? All these things tie into the ability to build a brand. When you're able to put it all together and develop and communicate and deliver on your promise, then really the sky's the limit for your business. Don't hold yourself back and take shortcuts. Invest in your business, invest in your brand, invest in your why, invest in your customers. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys. And always remember to pre-focus.